welcome to day one of Party Wear Hall Week. If you are new here, hi, I'm Fliss. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I have decided to film a different video every single day this week showing you the party wear items that I am loving most from different UK stores. Today is Zara, but there's also going to be ASOS, Topshop, Nasty Gal and Misguided combined, and also a charity shop and sustainable items haul. Um, they're going to be released every single day, Monday to Friday this week. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe because then you will get notified when each video goes live. I hope you love these items as much as I do. I'm not showing you items from my orders that I didn't like, but what I'm essentially trying to do, if you're anything like me, I order so many items for my Christmas party, Christmas drinks, that kind of thing, nights out around this time of year. And I just never really know which items to keep. So essentially I'm using you guys to tell me, obviously I'm trying to inspire you as well, but I'm using you guys to comment below, please, and tell me out of all the items, I'm gonna number them as I go along, which one you like the most, because yeah, I need some help. And I think you guys are the perfect people to do it. So yeah, as I say, I'm gonna stop rambling and just get straight into it. I hope you enjoy the video. So item number one that I want to show you is, I'm gonna show you these, they're kind of two items, but one, if you get what I mean. Um, I'm gonna show you this first, is this absolutely unreal red sort of co suit from Zara. It's got like satiny lapels here, and it's like an oversized blazer. Um, I got that in small and then also um, I got these red trousers to match. They're obviously supposed to go together. Um, you'll, it's really hard to show you what these look like on. Obviously I'll insert a clip here, um, but I, I, I never wear stuff like this. I think I mentioned in one of my previous hauls that I'm trying to be a lot more like 70s and a, a bit more sort of stylish, I guess, with the way I'm dressing. I think that's kind of since following an Instagrammer called Florence Given, and she always wears these really cool like co suit kind of things. And I just think this one is so nice. I think red, obviously, Christmas color, gotta show that one first. They're not, not everything's gonna be super like cliche Christmas. But I think this is kind of like a trendy sort of way of mixing up your Christmas party outfit. Um, I think I would potentially wear this to an actual Christmas party, but also if you're going out for cocktails or anything like that, this is a really cool item to wear. Um, I've styled it with a black crop top underneath, but I think any kind of bralette would look really nice. Maybe a black velvet bralette would look really cool underneath this. So I got this jacket in a size small and I actually got the tr trousers in a size medium, which fit perfectly and the jacket was $59.99 so you know it is a little pricey but then the trousers were actually $29.99 so all together quick math quick math 90 pounds so it's actually not too bad for a whole outfit well obviously you need a crop top unless you're very daring um, but for a whole outfit not too bad especially if it's like a special for a special occasion so yeah in total 90 pounds for this as i say this is kind of out of my comfort zone for me but i actually was really impressed when i had it on i like the sort of low bun kind of look with it as well i think that makes it look a little bit more classy um, and then the black heels too i just i think it's really christmasy colors and it's kind of edgy stylish sort of that kind of vibe because I think a lot of people to their Christmas parties will wear like bodycon dresses etc and I think this is just something a little bit different so yeah that's item number one okay so for outfit number two I am showing you this unreal 80s style pink mini dress um, it's really ruched at the bottom. It's very flattering on the figure, I'm not gonna lie. It's really ruched and tight at the bottom and then it goes really, really big at the top with these amazing balloon sleeves with elastic at the bottom of the sleeve, which I think I've said in previous videos, I absolutely love that. I also really like this polka dot detail. I've only just started going a little bit more daring with the colors I wear in my wardrobe. I'm trying so hard to not be like black, white and neutral all the time, but I, didn't think pink would suit me at all but i freaking love this it's so nice i did I have to admit i did go in and show my boyfriend this outfit and he was like absolutely not so i don't know if it's one of those man repelling kind of outfits but 
I just think it's really cool. Again, another quite stylish, a little bit different, maybe a tiny bit edgy kind of look. Um, and it also, I feel like I'm gonna say everything reminds me of someone I'm influenced by on this, but it's giving me Vogue Williams vibes. If anyone follows her or watches Spencer and Vogue, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, it's giving me her kind of fashion style vibes. And I, I'm, you know what, I'm here for it. I think it's really, really nice. I wouldn't say that it's the most traditional Christmas color, but it's obviously very bold. You're gonna stand out. Um, this is item number two. So please do let me know what you think in the comments, because as I say, this one's quite out there for me. Um, but I'm kind of glad I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. So I got this dress in a size small, and I would say it's very true to size. I'd say it fits like an absolute glove. And it was 29.99, so literally for a Christmas party outfit, that is so affordable and it is bold. I think it looks more expensive because of the design of it. And yeah, 29.99, can't really go wrong. Okay, so with outfit number three, we've gone full on Christmas. So this is a sequiny silver dress. It has got long sleeves, again, with a lot of elastic at the bottom, and it's quite mini. It's actually mesh, so it has got like an underdress underneath it. Um, and I, I have to admit, I do like this. I really like a long sleeve mini dress. I think it can look really classy. Um, I think as I've styled it in the cutaway, with sort of chunky boots, it can make it look a little bit more like Christmas edgy. I feel like I'm saying edgy to everything on this video. Obviously it's not really that edgy, but yeah, I think this is possibly the most typically Christmassy thing in this order. Um, and yeah, I just, I do really, really like it. I think the silver looks quite nice on like tanned sort of skin. It, obviously everyone's having a bit of fake tan around this time of year. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's cool. I really like it. I'm not sure it's my front runner, but I am, I'm into it, you know? I, I'm not, I wouldn't put it in if I didn't recommend it. The only thing I would say about this is, it is so itchy. You know, like jumpers that are itchy and you don't really wanna buy them because you know they're gonna hurt. This is 10 times that. I think it's just all the sequins. When you when I put it on, I was like, ha, 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 ha. So yeah, um, just be aware of that. I'm guessing like you probably only wear it a few times over the Christmas period. So it might not be too much of an issue, but just, yeah, something to be aware of. So I got this dress in a size small, and I do have to say it is slightly on the pricier side. This dress was 59.99. So that is a little more than I'd normally spend on a dress. However, if you consider you are wearing it to a Christmas party or a nice event, it doesn't seem too much. And I do think it's probably because of all the embellishments on it. Um, so yeah, if you like it, not too bad. But yeah, 59.99, it's all right, it's all right. So next up, I have a little bit of more of a rogue item. This probably wouldn't be considered a Christmas party, party wear kind of dress. However, I'm throwing it in here. So I got this black sort of stretchy jersey bodycon midi dress. This is actually a size medium. And honestly, I'm size eight to 10 and it was tight. So I would definitely say size up on this. I kind of, I think I probably knew that. That's why I ordered a size medium. And it was only 12 99 However, hear me out. I do think, I haven't styled it up like this in the cutaway, but I do think if you wear some really nice jazzy, like earrings, headband, necklace, not all together obviously, but one of the above or two of the above, with this, I do think it will be jazzed up a lot more and obviously a pair of heels, or maybe you're just not having like a super fancy Christmas party and you don't really need to wear a really fancy clothes, but you just wanna look a little bit a little bit sexy in your little black dress. So yeah, I, I really like this. It's really figure flattering. As I say, do, I was gonna say, please do size up. Like obviously it's up to you. Um, but yeah, I would suggest a sizing up in this, um, but I do actually really like it. I. I'm going to potentially keep this. No, you guys tell me in the comments. So this is item number four. So please do let me know in the comments if you like it. Cause I think for some people this might be too casual for Christmas, but um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. So next up, I have a top that I am so excited to show you. This is item number five. Um, it is a, I'm just gonna show you. I don't know why, but I've got so into feathers when I've been buying all the stuff for Christmas. This is a blue feathery 
spaghetti strap crop top. This is actually a medium. I sized up in this because I didn't want it to be really tight. I wanted it to be kind of like boxy um, because with the straps you can actually adjust them. So I thought I could just make the straps a little bit tighter. So I got this in a size medium and it's 25 99 as you can see from the cutaway, I would style this with some more plain trousers. I think there was a matching skirt or shorts to go with this. I did feel a little bit Eskimo vibes in that. But as it is, I love this. I think you can probably tell how happy I am in it from the video that I filmed. I just think it's so cute. It's very party-ish. I do still think it's Christmassy because it kind of like is like snow, ice, Christmas kind of vibes. Um, but yeah, I just think with maybe with a little bit of silver jewelry um, and styled down with some like plain trousers, I just think it's very cute, very classy. I also had some light blue heels that I'm wearing in the video um, that match this really, really well. Um, I'm actually going to watch Little Mix this week. I know I'm really cool. Um, but I actually think it would work for things like that. So I don't think it's just a Christmas item, but it's very, very statement, very sex in the city. So yeah, I, this is item, I think I said item number five, five, yeah, five. Um, so yeah, if you like this one, please do comment number five below because I actually think this might be the winner, but wait till you see the other stuff first. <laughs> So similarly, um, I have got this silver crop top to show you. It's a very similar to shape, it's very similar shape to the blue feathery one that I just showed you guys. Um, this, I got this in a size small and it was also $25.99. So it's like a disco ball silver crop top with these thicker sleeves. Um, and again, I think with plain trousers, this is just very, very Christmassy. It's definitely very standout. And I just think it is pretty awesome. I, it's the kind of that retro vibe sort of 70s that I keep mentioning that I kind of am trying to stick to. And yeah, I just think it's really pretty with a little bit of highlighter on your cheeks, bouncing off the reflection, you know, it's very, very Christmassy. Um, obviously every single video this week is going to have glitter in it. Um, but I honestly, I'm kind of going off subject here, but with Zara, I really, really didn't think that the Christmassy selection was that great on the website. I did have to search for ages and ages when I was first looking for everything. Um, hence why I'm doing this video for you guys. But actually, items like this are making me think maybe I was wrong and I am actually really impressed with pretty much everything that came in the order so yeah really pleased with this and I'm interested to see what you guys think of it okay the penultimate item in this haul is very pretty woman <laughs> it is this crazy crop top you can't even really see what it's going to look like until it's on and um, it's got the biggest bardo sleeves ever and then it's really ruched again i think actually this is kind of 80s a bit like the pink dress um i got it in a size small and this is expensive for a top it's 49.99 however this is such a statement top i think it really you don't need to buy too much to go with it it really just does all of the talking for the outfit i think it's very christmas very out there mixed with some glittery sort of jewelry and then just plain trousers i was surprised how much i like this i think it's actually really flattering it's very tight on your stomach and then really nice and big around here and then i think it is it always looks quite classy having a little bit of skin on show um yeah i i really like this this is item number six in the haul by the way um so yeah i just and oh i should probably say that at the back it's very elasticy which i don't normally like but you can't really see it when it's on and it does just make it really really fit really tightly so yeah i'm actually super impressed with this one the only thing that puts me off it slightly is how much it costs just for a top i don't know how well that sits with me spending 50 pounds on just a top but as i say you, you don't really need to buy much else i mean you can't go out just with the top on you obviously need some trousers but hopefully everyone's got sort of a plain pair of trousers that would go with this um and i do think you could wear this out to cocktails or you could zhuzh it up a bit more for a Christmas party. Um, so yeah, as I say, that was item number six. And then the last item I want to show you guys, I've totally done this the wrong way around, is the top I am wearing now. I won't show you too much of it on now because you'll be able to see the cutaway. But um, yeah, this is probably less for a Christmas party, unless your Christmas party is like a quiz or something like that, which I know a lot of people do. Um, but less formal and dressed up more like going to the pub going for cocktails with your friends or just like a family day out at christmas um like in london like me and my family do but it's essentially this gold speckled top 
Um, it's really shimmery. It's actually probably coming up a little bit more shimmery in this light than it actually is IRL. Um, I really like how the sleeves are really tightly fitted. Um, and obviously a little bit of gold at Christmas is just super festive. I do think it looks really nice with blue mum jeans. And um, I think in the cutaway, I started with some gold boots as well. So quite coordinated there, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, I just think it's very, very pretty. And it is just that shimmery kind of Christmassy, magical sort of vibe that everyone likes to go for this time of year. So I should have said that is item number seven. So yeah, if you're if this is your favorite item of the whole haul, please do comment that below because it's helping me choose. And I got this item in a size small, so it fits, like I say, it fits really nicely on the arms and it was 12 99 so very, very affordable for a nice shiny Christmas item. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video, guys. As I said, this is very much a lookbook of items that are in UK stores at the moment. I'm not intending to keep all of these items and I'm very much sort of looking for your opinion on which items I should keep. And also hopefully I inspired you on some of the stuff that is actually really nice on Zara's website at the moment. As I said at the beginning, this is haul week. So tomorrow it is gonna be either ASOS or Topshop. So there's gonna be ASOS, Topshop, Pretty Little Thing and Misguided and then Sustainable slash Charity Shop. So yeah, if you are interested in checking out what all of those stores have, then please do subscribe because you will be notified as to when they go out. And I really appreciate it because I am a new YouTuber and it means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye.